Going to a dentist is when you have something wrong and there's damage to your teeth. That means you have not been properly taking care of your teeth. Now, if you have damaged teeth, you have to go to the dentist and get it fixed. But you want to go to a holistic dentist, a dentist that understands Huggins protocol. They're integrative. They're not just a traditional dentist that'll put mercury fillings in your mouth or not try to exploit you by damaging your teeth through treatments where the dental industry ends up owning your teeth. You want to own your teeth. They're your ivories. And so the younger a person is to learn how to do dental care, the better. So today we're going to cover some questions that I'm going to read and then give the answers. These are great questions. You definitely do not want to heat it up. Room temperature is perfect for all of our products. And the reason for that, because if you put any heat to it, you can damage the oil. So yeah, just room temperature, you put it in your mouth and swish it, gargle it. Once you've swished it for one to two minutes, one minute minimum, and then you gargle it for 15 seconds, you do want to wash it down with some water afterwards and always do this after a meal. The reason you want to wash it down is just to get the oil off your tongue and your throat. You don't want it hanging around there at all. You just want to get it into your system and then it becomes a whole body tonic. Now, we're all told that our bodies are 80% water, but that's just not true. We're 80% electrolytic fluid. If you drink pure water all the time, you're dehydrating your body because you're robbing your body of the essential electrolytes that your body requires to stay hydrated. Hydration is based upon having healthy electrolytic fluid levels in your body. Water depletes that. Also, stimulants deplete that. Diuretics like caffeine causes dehydration. So if you're doing any diuretics like alcohol, caffeine, nicotine, any kind of drugs, any kind of pharmaceutical medicines, they're all dehydrating you. So you want to be able to get electrolytic fluid. All you got to do is put unrefined sea salt into your water that you drink at a low enough level that is comfortable for you. That's the real key is to drink enough electrolytic fluid made from unrefined sea salt to get that into your system. Any water that is not pure, whether it's reverse osmosis or distilled, has contaminants in it. Even mineral water, so to speak, does not have the right kind of minerals in it that your body can use. That's just a marketing ploy. Tap water is anathema. I wouldn't go near it because you don't have any idea what's in your tap water. So the right kind of water is clean water, reverse osmosis or distilled, with unrefined sea salt in it that immediately structures the water and makes it fully hydratable into your system. And it also brings the electrolytes in with it. So you might want to just start it with a little bit to begin with and then ramp it up. You can even go as high as a teaspoon of unrefined sea salt in a liter of water and be perfectly loving that. That's actually the ideal amount. So the fluid you drink is not really water, it's electrolytic fluid converted into that form by adding these unrefined sea salts. Now, we already know that it, the more water you drink, the more dehydrated that makes you, which seems very counterintuitive because everybody's told you got to drink lots of water. And the older you get, the more water you should drink. But that is a, a huge amount of misinformation. The only way that you're going to get hydrated is not by adding salt to your food, it's by adding unrefined, good quality sea salt to all the water you're drinking, which converts the water into electrolytic fluid and then when you drink it, it donates electrolytes to your system. And that means that every cell in your body is going to get eventually hydrated. It takes about a year to hydrate your body, but you'll notice that the very first day you begin adding sea salt to your water. Now, people think that will make it taste bad. The actual reality is that when you have the proper, pure, unrefined sea salt that does not have microplastics or heavy metals in it, it is the most beautiful tasting thing you'll ever drink. And it's super smooth and easy to get down into your system. So that's how you truly get hydrated. Yes. So most of the dental care that you're going to be getting into is self-care for your dental. Going to a dentist is where you have something wrong and there's damage to your teeth. That means you have not been properly taking care of your teeth. Now, if you have damaged teeth, you have to go to the dentist and get it fixed. But you want to go to a holistic dentist, a dentist that understands Huggins protocol. 
they're integrative. They're not just a traditional dentist that'll put mercury fillings in your mouth or not try to exploit you by damaging your teeth through treatments where the dental industry ends up owning your teeth. You want to own your teeth. They're your ivories. And so the younger a person is to learn how to do dental care, the better. One of the most important ways is to do oil pulling with black human seed oil. It takes a little while to get used to the taste, but within two weeks, you're going to be craving it. You put one teaspoon in your mouth after one meal a day, swish it for one minute minimum, up to two minutes, gargle it in the back of your throat, and then swallow it with some water. That's the first thing. And everybody knows about brushing and dental floss and flossing and all those things, which are important. But this is the thing that you got to do the most important, which is the black human seed oil. Also, never brush your teeth after you've eaten a meal because then your enamel is soft. You always want to brush your teeth in the morning when you wake up and before you go to bed at night and never after a meal. Well, plaque builds on the outside of your teeth above your gum line because you have bacteria between your gums and your teeth. That happens when you are not maintaining a healthy balance of, of good bacteria in your mouth. Your mouth has bad bacteria and good bacteria. You never want to have an imbalance there because you have to have a healthy bacteria. You don't want to kill all the bacteria. And the best way to have a maintained, balanced, healthy bacteria in your mouth is by doing oil pulling with black human seed oil. That's one teaspoon after one meal a day, swish it for one minute minimum, two minutes preferably, and then gargle it in the back of the throat and swallow it. That makes sure that you, all the bacteria that would normally be on your tongue that causes bad breath in the back of your throat or causes tooth decay is eliminated. The water filtration system we use at our factory is a very sophisticated multi-stage thing that creates perfect water, but that's just the base. From there, we add in minerals, whether we're going to drink it or whether we make products in there. And that water, like really all you have to do is a simple, basic reverse osmosis filter to make your water clean. Make sure you have a low TDS, that's a total dissolved solids. You can go buy a $30 meter at a swimming pool place and you can check your reverse osmosis filter or you can get a distiller, but a distillers are a hassle. So the best one is reverse osmosis water. You never want to drink straight reverse osmosis water because it's very hungry and it will demineralize and cause dehydration in your body. When you get your clean water, which you can make from any tap water anywhere through RO, you then have to add unrefined sea salt to it to structure the water and put the correct minerals that your body wants in it in their perfect bioavailable form. You have one teaspoon per liter is the optimal, but you can start it with half a teaspoon. And make sure that all your water has some unrefined sea salt in it. That way you never have to worry about it. You know, you pretty much have no choice because when you go through security, you can't bring water. So you have to buy it inside the airport. Once you're looking for either in a glass bottle, preferably, or a good quality plastic bottle, something like Fiji water. That's a good one. That's the kind of bottle. Look at the Fiji water bottles and see how good the quality plastic is. If you can take the water bottle and, and crinkle it, it's bad news. It's got all kinds of total bad plastics and chemicals in it you don't want. And make sure that you have your little jar, little tiny, like a pill bottle. Just put your unrefined sea salt in it. Bring it with you on your carry-on. You can't bring large amounts, they'll take it away from you. But if you have a little bottle, they won't bother you. And then make sure you add the unrefined raw sea salt to your water at the right ratios that are comfortable. Shake it in until it's totally dissolved. You can't just put it in and let it sit at the bottom. It has to be shaken and fully dissolved. And that totally fixes water that you buy from the supermarket or in the airport. And that way you're going to make sure that you're hydrating yourself instead of poisoning and dehydrating yourself.